welcome. I am Adorkably Sims, and today I thought we would take another look into the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs expansion pack. I thought we would take a look at some of the things that we did not cover in the first video, such as the gameplay of the town and all of the new items that you get in build mode and we will start with my family here the light family and I have a puppy and you can't do much with a puppy like you cannot take it for walks so when we go around town, we will be by ourselves without our dog. But maybe once it grows into an adult, we can start taking it out. Now, this house that I am living in is already a pre-made house. In this town Brindleton Bay the only thing I have done to this house is make it to my liking not just by adding items but by remodeling this house I took away a bunch of the house items such as the chimneys and a bunch of the balconies that were not needed. I also got rid of some bedrooms and I will show you that here in a minute. Whoops, those were already up all of it. And we will go to the roof and this is there we go and this is our lovely on the boat and there were there were balconies in the front there were balconies here here and here and I did not like them at all and why is there a plate of food outside Someone's going to have to clean that. There was a balcony. Whoops. There was a balcony here. But I did not like that, so I pushed it out and added a wall with windows. There are two balconies here that I kept. This one has no access. While this one, I kept the door. Now we will start with the top floor. Yeah, better with the walls down. Now here we have the master bedroom. And as you can see, it is quite large. And that is because the wall originally ended here. And I thought, well, why do you need two public? bathrooms. All of the rooms do not need two upstairs bathrooms. And a master bedroom normally has its own bathroom. So I expanded the bathroom into this room, not making it any smaller because I expanded this room out more. I added a wall and door here which made the room much more bigger and to my liking. I also removed the door that was on this side and put it in the master bedroom. This room here was blocked off. It was closed in and I simply opened it up because it looks better as an open concept. And you may notice there are a few objects lying around the house that are fairly new. And we will get to that here in a minute. There was a bathroom here. 
that took up the space. I did not like the design, so I removed it, made this roof come out a little more. Added a game here to fill the space and took this room, which was a room with a fireplace and some t baby things and I took it all out and made it a bathroom for my two little twin girls. And as you notice, yes, their rooms are empty because I don't see the point in decorating their room just yet when they're only babies and they stay in their crib until they reach their toddler ages. Now we take a look down stairs. Here is the front entrance. You come in and there is the stairs to your right. You have this beautiful, big, open living space. I have added this grand piano, which was already here, but I just did a few touch-ups. Then I added this chess game in the window. And again, I took a fireplace, that was where the TV is, I took it away. It just makes the room seem bigger because how they had it is they had the fireplace where the TV is. They had the TV here on a table and I, I like to have my TV on a wall if I can because it makes the room seem much more spacious. And also you can see here we have a new item, a new fish tank. Then you obviously have a door accessing outside. And here we come into this large beautiful room with the windows. And before this room was closed off with a weird shaped bathroom. And it only had plants in the middle of the floor. I think the Sims community was trying to make a greenhouse, which I don't mind, but I converted it into an office space. If we take a look behind the stairs, you will see another new couch. To your left, we have the formal dining area with another new item. For the kitchen, the only remodeling I have done is I made the walls have this open access. It was only accessed by a small opening and I thought that maybe the kitchen seemed cramped. There was a wall here, and I did not like the random wall, so I took it out and replaced it with a full island. Then I kept the idea of the table and chairs. Over in the right corner, there was a cat scratching post, etc., and I don't think that belongs in a kitchen, personally, but I did keep the toy box for the animals, in this case, the dog that I have, and I also added in the corner, which is now the animal pet corner for my dog, the pet automatic feeder with the new, also new, carpet item. Again, we have another door that leads outside as here to the backyard which has a pool. I also added hint a new item. The terraining for your dog which you do not need but is optional. You can always go to the pet park. Then I added some playground equipment for my children when they age up. And also, who wouldn't want a garden? This is my lovely home boat. And now we will take a look at some of the new built items that you will get. 
First off, we'll start in the kitchen, and you don't get many things in the kitchen. You do get some new decorations, such as these large crates that I don't see any purpose of being in a house. You get this nice knickknack. And obviously you will get the, of course, pet bowls. And it's not just pet bowls, it's pet bowls and beds and litter boxes and toys. And you get the cat tree and the scratching post and, <coughs> excuse me, you also get the training and the toy boxes. You also get new bars, a new bar stool. You get the Uncle Fly's favorite bar stool. You get the new sink for your bathroom. No new appliances, no new counters, but you do get new window coverings. These are very cute. And as for this one, you will see this pattern quite a lot with the furniture and I do not, I don't really care for it in my opinion. This isn't something that I would be using at all. You also get the awnings for outside. You get a few new plants, and who doesn't like small house plants? These ones are cute, the cat house plant and the dog house plant. You also get a few new lights, such as the barnyard lamp for outside. You also get not your grandma's lamp, which is funny because it does look like a lamp a grandmother would have in her home. You also get these hanging lights. And this one, which I obviously you have seen, I have in my dining room. You get this lanyard, this very pretty glass fancy lamp, and you get this lighthouse lamp, which looks like a knickknack to me. And that is all for the kitchen. On to the bathroom, you get one new mirror, a medicine cabinet. You get one new tub. Of course, they will have the litter boxes for your kitties. But it's not just that. It's everything else included. You also get new paintings and posters. You get some dogs, some cats, some fish, bones. You get some signs with alcohol on them, and sailor stuff, and kitchen, and the vet items for the wall. How cute is that? Very cute, very, very cute. Now you also get some items that you have to unlock with the vet skill, which shouldn't be too hard to obtain once you start playing. Now the next thing you will get in the bathroom 
is some new rugs and you get quite a lot. You get some newspapers, you get some paw prints, some welcome mats, some food mats. You get some no cat, no dog mats. You get paw prints again and there are some really adorable mats in here. Especially this one. My favorite one would have to be this one right here. And that is all for your bathroom. For your bedroom, you get a few new beds like the Mr. Wolf and Mrs. Meow's child bed and it comes with many different bedding styles very cute for the child you also get another twin bed with quilt like beddings you get two regular adult size beds this one has very cute beddings as well and this one just like the twin bed it has quilt like looking patterns on it and yes you do have the animal bedding in here as well with all the other items every time you click it you'll always have the other items you get a new dresser set for your new for the new child's bed you get this glass panel door one and you also get this fancy dresser and lastly you get a few new end tables Moving along to the living room, you don't get much in the living room, but you will get some new seating, like this bench. I know the pattern is birds, but it kind of reminds me of the Amazing World of Gumball. Now you get this bench, which I don't know if it's inside or outside, but you can always use it if you have a wooden table. It would look even cuter if it had a cushion on it or maybe some pillows, some throw pillows. You get this nice, fancy looking bench that I believe is all around town. You get this flowered outdoor window type of seating. Again, with this pattern, this is the pattern is more 90s to me or 80s I don't really like it I don't really care for this couch in general and here is the lovely cozy two-seater that I have in my office area my two favorite and last but not least couches are the wild love and the Queen Bay Window Cedar, which I have bolted these upstairs. And they come in very various colors. With this one, I would have to say so far that my favorite is the purple and gray. It just speaks to me. Those are my favorite colors, purple and green, and I see some pink in there. And that is all for the couches. Now for the living chairs, you get two of these type of chairs, and again, I don't care for them. You get this ottoman, which you can put in front of a bed. Um, really an office, anywhere you desire. 
you also get this grandmother type of looking type of chair which is cute to me and you get these this option again which like I said before has every pet item inside you get a few sculpture items some of which I think are more for if you have a vet these are very cute very very cute whoops I skipped one that is adorable Most of these sculpture items are already in the town. Moving along to the dining room, you do get one, two, two new tables, a circular wooden rustic table, and a rustic classic small table. You get a couple new chairs, like this Cousin Jed's favorite chair. This Lost in Furniture dining room chair. This chair that I do not like. And this chair with a conflict free cushion. You get one new large Captain Bar and again the same bar stools. Wall decorations, you get a few wall decorations, mostly for the vet, but if you want them in your home, do as you please. And that is it for this room. Moving along to the study. You get this nice new black wooden desk. And again, the new chairs are the same as you get with the dining room. Nothing new there. For the hobbies and skills, you do get these medicine crafting machines. They're not really, to me, they're not really for the house there. They seem more for the vet career. But you do get those, and again, you get the bar. Nothing really new in here. Here, like I said, you do also get some new bookcases, and I really like this one. It's kind of gothic, but I like it. The children's bedroom, we've already taken a look at mostly everything in here, so we won't have to spend much time. Now for clutter, you do get some items that aren't really for your house, they are more for the vet. But again, feel free to put them in your home. That is adorable, the cats and dogs. And that is all in this room. For the outside, you do get the toys and everything else along with it. And again, you do get all of these same sculptures as before, nothing new. 
Nothing new in appliances. You get these lovely cat mailboxes, which I currently do not have opened. The chairs are the the chairs you do get these lovely new picnicker tables, one with and without an umbrella. For the outdoor activities, you get three new stations. The foodie, the catch of the day, which is downtown, and the what looks to be shrimp. I have not seen this one, but I have seen uh, this one. And I believe this one is downtown at the park, don't get me wrong. And that is everything you can buy, all of the new items. What we are going to do next is go explore downtown. It is going to be late by the time we get downtown, so I'm not sure if we will be able to interact with some neighbors or not. The first place we will be traveling to is obviously the upper area of town where it's said that dogs are mostly at but there are cats there. Where the park is, there are a few residents in the area but when you walk around you shall see more that you do not see on your map there we go that took a while I don't know what was going on but we live here and you can always go to the cove or something um like I said, we will head over to the park first, and the park is known for dogs being around, so maybe we'll see a stray. Maybe even a kitty cat running the streets. I know there is supposed to be... <coughs> A ghost dog. Um, I have not yet seen him. I haven't hardly begun to play. But if we see him, we shall see him. If not, then we will continue to keep looking throughout the game. And here we are at the park. That did not take as long as I thought it would. Here we are at Pupperstone Park. Nobody is here. Like I said, it's really late. So nobody m might be around. She is going to use the restroom. And this is pretty cute. This little fountain area. Yes, he is here. This stand, like I said before, I didn't know if it was here or not. But it is here. We shall greet him. To greet our first neighbor in the town. We'll keep our video on her to watch her every move.
and we're going to use the make happy cheat so that she doesn't have any issues while we're out and about. Now that she's met someone of residents of this town, looks like we can go down here. What is down here? Nothing really. You can catch frogs. Can you fish? Does not look like it. Oh, and there is a stray animal. It looks to be, yes, a cat. And most likely it is a stray. Its name is Cashew. What a very cute name. Oh, and indeed he is coming to the park. So here's our first stray Cashew. Oh, there's another stray. <laughs> Very cute. It is singing a song. Let's cautious introduce ourselves. We don't want to get too friendly because I know in real life when you're friendly too friendly with stray animals, they will want to stick around and we don't we don't need that right now. Maybe in the future, but we don't right now. Oh, how cute! It's cute how the cat sleeps. Let's see if Cashew is around. Oh, oh. Well then, who is this? That's Cashew. Then who are you? Pumpkin and Cashew. Oh, aren't those cute names? They must be related. They look the same. This cat. Nika. Hmm. Nika is a different name. I don't see any other cats here besides these three. Oh. There's a flock of birds, and there's an option. Let's go chase the flock of birds. Who doesn't do that? <laughs> Who hasn't done that in their life? So I'm scared a bunch of birds. Oh, and he is leaving. Last time, he stayed until 5 in the morning. But he left this time. There is the hospital. A random lot. Um, there are some residents here. which I believe is one of his houses and there's not much to this part of town now we can go check out the last bit of town where the fishermen are hopefully this does not take ages to load again Oh, come on game, be responsive. Sometimes the game wants to be responsive, other times not. Like I said, this is Wickerman's wrap. You can see all the boats and mostly just for the fishermen. As you notice, this one has a lot of cat hangout traits and a empty lot two of them it has a club as well ever need a cat just come here or go 
be friends with the cat lady. We are going to, like I said, go to the bar. See if there are any any relative any residents of the town there. I know the bartender might be there, but let's see if anyone other than the bartender will be there. Hopefully this will load as fast as it did for the other one. One thing that I find that we should have, or maybe could have, maybe in an update or something, is a pet store. Now, I don't know much about The Sims 3, but The Sims 2, I know, has a pet store. And I know this, this one is a bit different because you can adopt strays and adopt by going on the computer. Well, this is nice. And there is indeed somebody here. Let's go and greet him. And what is his name? Dexter. Nice. So she is going to greet Dexter is watching movies. Now we have met two residents of this town. Let's see what's all in the area. So you have the you have the bar you have the Cat Lady, which is an odd place for a house <laughs> in the middle of a deck. You have the nice lounging area with a pool, and you have a lovely playground if you want to bring your children along. You cannot ride these boats, but this one is, yes, where does this one take you to? The museum? Yes, there are two boats, one in my area and one downtown here that will take you to the lighthouse. Now there is something special about the lighthouse. You can woohoo in there. Well, now that we've seen the town, let's head over to the lighthouse. I can get it to load. Travel to the lighthouse. Putting the camera back on her. There we go. Oh, there is a stray kitty cat. And another one. I haven't seen any dogs. Do you want some shrimp? There you go. There was the shrimp. Little food joint. I wonder, because this is an island, if there will be any strays on this island. Whenever she gets there, it was a long jog. Yes, we want to travel to the lighthouse. I wonder what this museum will look like. 
if it will look any different from any of the other museums in the towns that we already have. And I will be surprised if I actually see strays on this island. Because clearly the only way you are going to get there is by a boat. And unless they ride a boat, they aren't going to get there. My game seems to be lagging just a little bit. Who's, but who doesn't lag from time to time? But this isn't the time to lag. Come on. Oh, and we're here. There is an anchor statue. And here is the museum. It's nice. Nobody's here, though. Let's see what the upstairs looks like. Oh, just restrooms and a little lounging area. Let's see what else is around here. A bathroom outside. Okay. I find that strange because you already have a restroom inside the museum. Um, no. Do I know? Drays here. No. Let's. And there is a picnic area and the lighthouse. And like I said, what you can do in this lighthouse is woohoo. I don't need to go in there. Where? What? You guys saw that too. <laughs> I don't see anybody and I just saw that. Oh. Oh. Um. I guess there are some strays here. Oh, what a cute. Puppy, CC. I have seen CC before. I did see. Something like something else walking around. Was that? A glitch or hmm I don't know but I swore I saw more than one animal walking around could be wrong well there you have it that is the town Let's have her go home so we can end this video. Do not lag on me. Oh, and one thing I always forget, you can click the home button on your sim and they will travel home. Here, you will go back home to your loving family. Thank you to everybody who watched my video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if there are anything 
If there is anything you would like to see in the future, please let me know in the comment section below. I will be sure to read all of your comments. I will be posting videos starting every Wednesday. I haven't exactly figured out the time. I think I will do five o'clock mountain time. So every Wednesday, five o'clock mountain time. If you subscribe and turn that bell icon on, you will get notified every time I upload and you won't have to remember that. So, thank you for watching. Until next time.